नमस्कार वेलकम एंड दिस इज द फोर्थ ट्यूटोरियल ऑन क्वांटम एक्सप्रेसो एंड टुडे वी विल सी हाउ टू रन योर फर्स्ट कैलकुलेशन ऑन क्वांटम एक्सप्रेसो ऑन दिस लिनक्स सिस्टम एंड वी विल बी यूजिंग द पीडब्ल्यू जी यू आई सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर जेनरेटिंग सम इनपुट फाइल्स एज वेल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू क्रिएट ए फोल्डर इन योर डेस्कटॉप or anywhere you want in your home directory which is accessible to you uh, you have to create a folder where you will run the calculations because that is where all the results are going to be stored so i have created this folder calculation on my desktop and inside it i have placed some input files uh, so the uh, speaking of the input files in the last tutorial uh, we had discussed about the input file format for uh, calculating band structure of uh, calculating the uh, band structure of mos2 uh, 2d mos2 and basically we will first do an scf calculation on that and uh, then go on to do band structure calculations today so uh, i am showing uh, you the input file once again so this is uh, the input file that we had calculation is set to scf type and prefix i just name it pwscf dot a uh, verbosity is set to low i have turned on the flags uh, for the force and stress calculation and uh, another important thing is because i am going to compute the band structure um, later on from the results of this scf file Uh, i have put this uh, flag additional flag nbnd so this is the number of bands above the fermi level that you want to uh, show in your plot so you need to have this uh, turned on because uh, in, uh, for default it is uh, set to a small value uh, sometimes 10 or something so you won't get enough bands above your fermi level and uh, i have just set here 30 bands you can put it to more Uh, another interesting thing is uh, about the pseudo potential so this is the pseudo potential i will be using this pbe type pseudo potential because my uh, input dft type is set to pbe so this is pbe uh, uh, this one is spin polarized uh, for molybdenum so i am using that kind of a pp file uh, this is the name of the file so where to get this pp files i'll show you this is the website quantumespresso.org and pseudo potentials and there uh, you will uh, see this periodic table like uh, structure and you have to select the elements uh, of your system so i have molybdenum and sulfur so what we need to do is we need to locate molybdenum here it is so you can just click on this and it will take you to this uh, page showing a, a number of uh, pseudo potential files that are present so uh, obviously we will need a pp file that is compatible with the input dft type so i am going to do a pb calculation so um, in my case i select this file for example if i want this so i right click on it and i just put save link as and set it on my desktop right so i have already uh, downloaded the files same for uh, sulfur and you need to be consistent uh, not only in terms of the type of pp you are going to use whether it is pb or pz or uh, any other type but also uh, make sure that for both the elements you are using the uh, same type of uh, pseudo potential file so uh, that is an important thing here so i have this uh, pb rrk jus uh, pseudo potential files both of them i have saved already downloaded and saved them in my desktop i also have some um other files as well the empty fhi these are um older uh, abinet pseudo potentials so uh, with newer versions these are not recommended but with version 6 it 
uh, works but I am going to use this RRK JUS pseudo potential and what I am going to do about it is I have to copy it to my default directory and um, for the pseudo potentials uh, in quantum espresso the default directory is uh, user share espresso pseudo so uh, this is where uh, the pseudo potential files are uh, stored for uh, all our espresso calculations and this is a good thing that you have uh, whatever uh, elements you need you just add it to the this directory uh, add the pp files to this directory and there uh, you will find uh, the necessary files for your calculation so i am just going to put it in the default directory i have already done that so uh, I will copy these files to this directory I come back to my desktop and uh, there I have this pseudo potential files I can copy all of them dot user share espresso pseudo uh, there this is uh, an important step because uh, sometimes you will get this kind of uh, error in Ubuntu that the permission is denied that is because uh, you need to have a super user uh, privileges to copy into that file because it is in your user share uh, directory so you have to do a pseudo before that I'll just put this sudo command it will prompt for my password and uh, now those files are copied to that particular directory so I have my pp files set up so to run the calculation I will go to the calculations directory right click to open a terminal so uh, first I have to do the SCF calculation that is the most important thing because for um, any analysis or anything first you have to have the uh, self consistent calculation carried out so how to do that uh, I'll do pw.x uh, because this is a smaller uh, uh, smallish sort of calculation I will uh, run it with the t output command but it is not recommended for uh, files that would uh, need uh, larger simulation time but uh, for your convenience uh, I will do that this is called a pipe sign that I put and you put T so it will stream the output on your screen and uh, after that it will save to the file name you give so I will put mos2 sef dot out and the calculation is running it is a small calculation so it is not going to take much time just uh, unit cell So the calculation has finished and uh, you can always see the output log if there are any errors or anything so if this is uh, job done uh, so there is a proper exit uh, no error messages are showing uh, out here so now if I check this uh, I'll see there is a directory pwscf.a.save so this is where the web functions and uh, certain things are saved uh, this wfc1 uh, and I have this output file which I had named uh, most to scf dot out um, so from this I can uh, check the total energy
mosc to scf dot out and you see uh, i can check the total energy of the system with this command so this gives a just a value so the last value is the total energy of the system i can also check the fermi level let me put this command gray p If you are not sure about the term, how exactly it is named, you can uh, just try a few keywords like this. So, so the Fermi energy, if I do this uh, kind of a search, this grep is basically doing a search over the output file. So I can uh, uh, do this uh, search. Uh, it has to match the exact case and all the things. So I showed you with the few trial and error examples. So if you put the correct uh, correct values uh, for the search term it will give you uh, the fermi energy as well so you see the fermi energy is 3.1549 electron volts so that being done the scf calculation is done and from this we can uh, see uh, extract these uh, results and now uh, we proceed towards creating the band structure so for that i will uh, use the PWG UI in order not to mess up my input file I can just copy this MOS to SCF I have already uh, done all the process I am just uh, showing all this for your convenience so I will put it on my desktop and from there I will open open an existing PW.x input file and this uh, there are number of files mos2.scf in this is my input file for the scf calculation and from there i can uh, choose uh, i want to do a band structure calculation so i will choose this uh, band structure calculation system electrons i am not going to modify these things because uh, they would remain the same for my uh, file uh, the for as compared to the scf file i just keep them the same now here is the interesting thing this k points this will show us the brillouin zone sampling path so the path along which i want to sample my band structure uh, so i will select this uh, crystal specification for band structure plot crystal b and how many points number of k points i will uh, do gamma m k gamma this is my path for the 2d hexagonal lattice uh, so that's what i need to sample for mos2 so how many points gamma m k gamma so i have four points i'll increase this number number of k points and there i have to put the coordinates of each point so uh, this is basically 0 0 0 this is gamma and weight means how many points uh, do you want uh, in each segment so let's just put like uh, 50 gamma m is 0 0 0.5 0 Uh, this because this is the starting point sometimes you will see uh, you can also put this uh, weight of this point to set to 1 but uh, I'll just keep it this way 0.333 this is the k point so I have gamma m and k basically it is one third one third zero uh, so I'll just put the fractional values here and back to gamma so 0 0 0 and 50 uh, so once uh, this kind of things are done
what I can do here I can go to the optional variables there you see there is a number of electronic states n b and d so I can uh, uh, have it uh, 30 I had set it to 30 in the SCF calculation in case you have not set it uh, to a certain value here you can uh, you have a, another chance to put in the value so with all this done I will just save this uh, input file I will name it MOS2 dash band and save it in the desktop so this is how my file looks like uh, so see the type of calculation is bands so this will also be executed with uh, pw.x but the type of calculation from SCF has now changed to bands this is the difference if you look at the input file so in the control card the calculation will change from SCF to bands that is one uh, very important change verbosity this needs to be set to high so you can uh, manually also edit if you have uh, uh, not put your value of choice in the PWG UI but you need to edit it later you can edit it manually all the time uh, there is no problem with that and uh, here you have this uh, NBND 30 is all these things are uh, satisfactory and this here is uh, something different from the SCF file uh, I'm just showing you the difference so this K points is automatic but this is basically K points in crystal B coordinates and here I have uh, this uh, four because I have four different uh, high symmetry points I'm selecting for my sampling and this is the gamma point 0 0 0 weightage is 50 0 half 0 weightage is 50 point 3 3 3 3 3 3 0 weightage is 50 again and like uh, back to gamma point again so this is the file uh, we are going to use and I have already uh, put this file uh, in here so I will uh, start the calculation here so this calculation will also be run with pw.x most two bands in I'll put this t because this is going to stream my output uh, here and uh, further I will put the name of the output file mos2 band dot out and it has started to run the calculation has started to run and now we see the calculation has finished it took about six minutes so I will show you that uh, the log file it is uh, writing down the energy eigenvalues for the different bands so now our uh, next step would be to shape this data into a plottable format and for that uh, we need another small script and this is the bands.in so this is a very simple script you just need to uh, use this card and bands and close it and there is uh, the prefix will be uh, the directory uh, where you are saving this pwscs dot a uh, not the not this save but just the prefix that's all you need to provide and fill band is the name of the output file uh, so fill band will be the name of the output file you want for your band structure uh, plotting data file so with that what we will do is we will use this program bands.x and this is another way to put it uh, with an 
i uh, sometimes you can put it like just minus i and minus dot in this uh, command will also work uh, i always prefer to uh, use uh, this uh, format with the t command for showing you the output this is again I say this is not recommended uh, in case you are using a large calculation this should be bands dot out yes and this will uh, give us the output file of the uh, data file basically so it will uh, write in different formats for GNU plot format and other formats are also possible so this has uh, completed uh, this is the bands yeah so bands written to bands dot out that means the output has been completed successfully I can just uh, terminate this and now I can uh, see the output this uh, GNU uh, bands dot out dot GNU this is the file I'm going to use for plotting so for plotting you can use xmgrace or GNU plot or any other software that you like I use xmgrace just to show you the output you can also write a small shell script for plotting with pyplot or other uh, plotting utilities out.gnu and I have my band structure for MOS2 uh, I'll zoom this because I know my uh, Fermi level is somewhere as we showed in our earlier slide the Fermi level is above zero so uh, it is not set to zero so this is uh, this is the band structure for molybdenum disulfide and I can see these uh, valence and conduction bands there I can zoom in zoom out and this is uh, the typical structure showing the valence and the conduction bands my formula level is around somewhere around 3 uh, and I can uh, export this uh, data further and plot it and use it in uh, publications and all so uh, with this we come to the end of uh, this uh, part of the tutorial and in the next part we will also show other calculations optical spectra and many uh, more things density of states uh, JDOS electron vocalization functions and so on subsequently so thank you for uh, being with me and uh, Please support the channel, like, share and subscribe and to keep updated also press the bell icon. So thank you and see you again. Bye bye.